Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got a few different updates to share with you and something really exciting in this little red box. So today I had to take the day off and take my kids to get their passports renewed because I realized that their passport expiration dates were creeping up. And while we have not been traveling internationally, we have been traveling quite a bit domestically and hopefully soon enough we can resume with our international travel plans. So anyway, I needed to bring a lot of paper paperwork for the passport applications so I decided to bring the larger size bag in my collection which is my speedy 25 in the monogram this is the classic and I don't wear this bag a whole lot but I just wanted to show you this has been my bag for the day so far and it holds so so much and yeah it worked out great and also, I wanted to talk to you about our wedding anniversary. My husband and I, we celebrated our 16th wedding anniversary, yes! And we actually had two weddings. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel, but we had a wedding here in New York with all of our friends and uh, many family members. But then we also had another wedding a few weeks later in Seoul, South Korea, because my husband's side of the family was there and they had a lot of guests they wanted to invite. It was actually a fairly large wedding on both sides. In New York, we had about a little under 200 guests and then in Seoul we had about 550 guests so many of them whom we did not know personally me and my husband but they were friends of his parents so anyway long story short we've got two wedding dates which means two wedding anniversaries right which is fun we went out to dinner earlier in April and then just recently went out to dinner again to celebrate and he presented me with this little red box so so sweet and I wanted to show you what's inside I also want to share in this video something I am letting go so it's kind of like nice surprise and then unrelated one goodbye so stay tuned for that as well. So let me open this up. I think for those of you who've been on my channel regularly, you may recognize this sort of. So let me open this up. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't this gorgeous? So you may have seen me wear a very similar, almost exact, exact looking ring on my channel. And there's a reason for that. So let me first open this one here. Many of you in the past have reached out asking me, what is that ring on your right hand on your middle finger? And I would always respond and say, mm, it's custom jewelry. It's from a place called Bimba y Lola when I was traveling in Barcelona with my friends. And we stopped into this shop and we found this. But it's custom jewelry. It's just plated. And I think I spent maybe a little under $100, maybe $75 US dollars or so. It says here, Bimba y Lola. It's quite scratched up. It is also peeling a bit because this is not really gold yeah and it's quite light but I love this design I have quite long fingers and I love that it was a good size you know it has these three rings stacked together and then it has these five black studs I love black diamonds these are clearly not black diamonds these are just I don't know some kind of fake stone for $75, I can't imagine they put anything expensive in here. But I have been wearing this a lot, and I know many of you had taken interest, but my husband actually took this from me a few weeks ago. He said, I, I need this. And I had a feeling I that I knew what he might be doing, but I was so, so surprised by how this came out. So this is an exact replica. and in, in my opinion, it's a better version of this ring that I love so much. So he got this custom made from our favorite jeweler in the Diamond District. And this is now solid gold. So you've got white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold. Love the combination. You guys know I have lots of mixing and matching going on. This is my ring that my husband got for me uh, last year from Cartier and then this is my Tiffany's wedding band and then my Mimi So engagement ring. So I love to mix. You can see here also I've got stacking rings from when we were dating many, many, many years ago. My husband got these for me. And this is white diamonds and then also black diamonds. So I love this. It's quite heavy because it's solid gold, but this is never going to tarnish. And I could not believe he actually got five pretty nice sized black diamonds embedded in there. So it fits perfectly. It's the exact same size. This jeweler did such a good job. We have, um, well, I should say I have lots of jewelry pieces from this place that my husband goes to, and they do a phenomenal job each time. So now I'm going to wear this one, the real one, but you can see they're quite similar, except the stones here kind of come up. These stones are black diamonds, much heavier in weight. I'm so happy with this. I love it. 
Love it. I had tried on a couple of Cartier rings, a couple, a couple of Coco Crush rings from Chanel, and none of them got me excited. And personally, I have mentioned this on my channel before when I talked about jewelry. I really love jewelry that's a bit more unique and not as cookie cutter or brand name that everyone has or anyone can buy. So I love this so much. Let me show you. Here is my true testament to my love for black diamonds. This is another custom piece that my husband got for me many years ago from a friend who is a diamond uh, gemologist and also a jeweler, a custom jeweler. And this is all black diamonds on the bottom here and then a little bit of white diamonds up here on the stem. This is so sparkly and beautiful. Yes, I don't know why I've always had a thing for black diamonds ever since I was in my 20s. So I just feel like it fits my my personal aesthetic, my personality, everything. So yeah, definitely want to show you that. Uh, we've been married for 16 years. We met when I was 19. We're college sweethearts. He is three years older than me. Oh, what, what am I saying? He's two years older than me. <laughs> He's two years older than me. So when I was 19, he was uh, about 21, 22. And we got married when I was 25. Had our first child when I was 30. So it's been a really wild and fun ride. And hopefully many, 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 many more years to come. Okay. So then I want to move on. Totally switching gears. Unrelated. But I really was excited to share this with you guys. Um, I am letting go of a Chanel handbag. Okay. Yes, I'm letting go of a Chanel handbag. And it's something I have been thinking about for a while now and I've been talking about this on my Instagram and many of you have weighed in so I'm just going to show you this one here my Chanel clutch with chain beautiful black caviar silver hardware pristine condition no sign of wear anywhere a lovely follower of mine on Instagram is going to take this yes she's already paid for it it's hers so i shouldn't say my chanel clutch with chain it's hers uh she lives in hawaii so this will be shipped out to hawaii i wrote a little card to her there yes so this is going to be leaving my collection and primarily because I just haven't had the occasion to wear this bag or I should say honestly I haven't really reached for this bag and I think it's because soon after I purchased this I was so excited you guys remember this is such a beauty so hard to find very rare discontinued several years ago but especially in the caviar in black to find it in this pristine condition is super rare like unicorn and I thought I'm crazy to even consider letting this go but I'm trying to just be very sensible and honest with myself about what I actually use because I believe these bags are meant to be used and enjoyed. And it was only a few months, I think, after finding this, I came upon my jumbo single flap, which was my like, you know, my dream bag since I was quite young. So I find that when I'm going for a larger black bag, I reach for my jumbo versus this one. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I will definitely miss this one in my collection. But I don't want to just hang on thing, on, hang on to things, just for the sake of it. So this is going to Janie, and I know she's going to enjoy this beauty, and I know she'll be well taken care of. So I've never actually experienced seller's remorse ever, which is I'm I'm thankful. I think it's because I'm very thoughtful and have many sleepless nights and I overanalyze and I weigh all the pros and cons for a long time. I probably take a longer time to make a decision on selling or letting go of a piece versus when I buy. I don't know why. I think when I buy, I, I've on occasion been like quite impulsive, which I don't enjoy that feeling either. But when I let go, I'm very, very careful because I know in a lot of cases, I'm not going to be able to get this, that, this exact piece back at all like I just it's gonna be so hard to find um so I'm just really careful but I've I've always felt so good and so happy and so free when I let go of something I'm usually just really excited for the new buyer and I'm glad to know that the piece will be used and then I just feel a little bit more peace of mind knowing that my collection is um still thoughtfully kind of curated um it has grown over the years as you have probably witnessed on my channel but 
I enjoy the fact that I'm constantly looking at it and editing my collection to see if there's anything that can be uh, let go when I add something, kind of, you know, mix and match and move it around. So anyway, this clutch with chain will no longer be featured on my channel because she's leaving. Bye bye, sweetheart. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> but I wanted to share. I try to share with you guys any changes that I make in my handbag collection as close to real time as possible. I personally don't love it when I'm watching a channel that I adore and then like a year and a half later, I'm wondering whatever happened to that bag? And um, the YouTuber says, oh, by the way, I sold it like two years ago. And I'm like, oh, I had no idea. I don't know why it's not. Obviously, they're entitled to do whatever they want. There's no obligation to share with anyone immediately. But for me, I just like to know. I don't know why I want to kind of be up to date. So. I just wanted to share with you all if you're like me just this is going to be going and I think it will create a greater appreciation for my other black bags that I am keeping so we'll see but thanks so much for watching this video it's kind of all over the place loving my ring loving the black diamonds they're so sparkly so sparkly um and I hope that you are all having a great week if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye bye